hi friends in this video let's talk about what are all the different type of joints in the sql server so there are around six type of joints in the sql server so what are all those six types we'll talk about now the first one is first one is inner join first one is inner join second one is left join third one is a right join fourth one is full join fifth one is self join let me make it as e yeah self join so sixth one is cartesian join or cross join cartesian join or cross join so in this video we'll talk about in detail so what is inner join what is left join what is right join what is full join and what is self join and cartesian join so to work with any type of join so we need minimum two tables we need minimum two tables so that tables can be customer and products customer and products table and like a employee department table employee and uh, department table employee and department table and like a student and marks table see for any kind of join at least you need minimum two tables but maximum it is up to you so there are some scenarios you may need to apply join between 10 tables yes if it is really required you can put how many tables you want but unnecessary joins it may degrade the performance of the query please be careful if it is required to put it join between the tables then only put it otherwise don't use the unnecessary joins now let me talk about first one is inner join so what is inner join so let me take there are uh, two tables employee and department table so in this inner join let me write it so in this inner join so what are all possibilities and what are all the negatives and positives let me increase it yeah so in this inner join so let us assume it i'll be taking employee table and department table so let me take a ms paint yeah so if you go there so i have a two uh, tables let us assume it so i have a, a this is a table one okay so this is a table two so when i apply let me write like this yeah so let me apply let me write it this is employee table employee table yeah so this is a, a department table okay so when i apply inner join so i am going to get the common data between these two tables when i say common data so this is nothing but a common data so this is nothing but a common data so i'll be getting only the common data between employee and department table so that is nothing but a inner join means to see the output in the inner join you need to have a common data between the two tables that can be employee department customer product or student marks table so let us say there is a employee exist in the employee table but it is not tied to any department so that time i don't get that result in this uh, uh, common area so that is nothing but a inner join let us assume it so there is a dep department is defined in the department table but uh, none of the people are tied to this department so that time that result won't come here so that scenarios won't come in the inner join inner join is nothing but a common com common data between the two tables that is nothing but a inner join now let me go to the next one is left join so in this left join what will happen similarly i will take the employee and department table so let us assume it so there is a employee a so he joined newly into the company newly joined into the company company but it is not tagged to any department but not tagged to tagged to any department okay so let us assume it this is the scenario now let me go for a picturization so let me go to the new picture here okay 
so this is the uh, employee table okay so this is the department table okay yeah so now when i go for a uh, let us say when i go for uh, inner join i'll be getting this common data is the common area between these two circles okay let me write it this is the employee table so employee table okay so now this is a department table so department table so in this left join i am talking about left join now so in this left join so if you assume it so i will be get in the left join so i will be getting so common data common data plus so if you if i have any unused data if i have any not satisfied data in the left table so not satisfied data data in left table so that i will be getting now assume it so i have a scenario so i have a newly joined employee which is there in the company but it is not tagged to the department so that time so i will be getting so this common data so means whatever the common data which has been identified so that common data i will be getting plus that newly joined employees which are not tied to the department so that kind of data i will be getting in this condition okay means i will be getting the total data which is there in the employee table it means that satisfied data plus remaining data which is there in the employee table so that is nothing but a left join so now let me go to the right join so in the right join if you see that so in the right join okay let me take the employee and department so again in the same scenario so i'll be taking this so so there is a newly joined employee there is a employee name a which is newly joined into the company but it is not tagged to the any department and so there is a new department is added so like what is the admin admin department is newly added newly added into the company into the department whatever it is department but but none of the employees are assigned to this employees are tagged tag it to this department okay now so i have a one new employee in the employee table and i have one one new department in the department table so when i go to the right join so let me go to the right join so when i go to the right join similarly so i will be taking the uh, same uh, pictures so this is the employee table so this is the uh, department table so let me write it uh, this is for uh, right join so in this scenario let me write here this text as well employee department okay so in this right join so what is the data i'll be getting so in this right join so i'll be getting the satisfied data between the employee and department table plus what are all the what are all the data which is remaining in the department table that time i will be getting so here let me write it so in this scenario i will be getting satisfied data or common data common data plus so remaining data in right table or department table whatever it is so that is nothing but a so right join so let us assume it common data contains so let us say five records five rows plus in our scenario i have one row there is a new department is added to the department table but none of the employees are tagged to the department so that time i will be getting one new row totally i will be getting six rows in the right uh, uh, join so that is nothing but a right uh, join now so let me go to the next join is a full join so for this full join also i will be taking the same example so employee and department and i will be taking the same again here so i will be taking so employee and department table under to the employee so new employee is added to the company but it is not tagged to any department as well as new department is added to the company 
but none of the employees are tagged to this department means so one new employee in the employee table one new department in the department table so now let me go to the full join so in this scenario if i go to the full join okay so now let me go for a full join so this is the okay so this is a left join and uh, this is a left table and this is a right table okay so now let me write here this is a full join so in this full join what is the output here is so the formula to identify the output is full join equal to common data or satisfied data common data plus so remaining data in or remaining rows in rows in left table plus remaining rows in rows in right table so this is this this is nothing but a so this is the result of the full join it means that so let me go here so if you see this i will be getting this is the common data plus the remaining rows so which are there in the remaining rows which are sorry this is the part remaining rows which are there in the employee table plus so remaining rows so which are there in the department table so it means that let us assume it common um, common rows are 5 common rows are 5 plus as per our example so one row in uh, one remaining row in employee table plus one remaining row in the department table totally you will be getting seven rows so that is nothing but a full join it is nothing but a full join it means that full outer join is nothing but a left outer combination of left outer join and right outer join okay now let me go to the next join is a self join so even self join is also a kind of a join but it also needed two tables it also needed two tables as i told joins required two tables even self join also required two tables self join is nothing but let us assume it so employee table is joining with employee table only so what is the scenario to join with the same employee table so there are some scenarios where i have a structure like this id comma name comma name comma uh, like let us say location comma mgr id it's nothing but manager id so if you remember it so manager is also one of the employee let us assume it one comma so let us say a comma ab let us say uh, tim comma so location is usa comma manager is he is the ceo of it so that is the reason why i am keeping as null next to two comma so i am making as a chris comma so usa comma is the one is the manager of the chris so in that scenario let us say let me make one more so let us say one more employee is um, teresa comma so usa comma one so this is the structure i have as of now my employee table so now i need a, a report like this i need a result like this so emp id comma so emp name comma manager name so in that scenario so i need to join it because manager is also a part of the employee so in that scenario i need to join with the employee table with the employee table so that time i need to go for a self join so then how many rows you will get it so in this scenario you will get the total number of rows is nothing but a these many rows only you will get how many number of rows are there how many rows in a table you will get that many rows in the self join so there is no uh, like a, a, a complex logic to get the rows so how many rows are there in the employee table you will get that many rows so if you want to show for the particular uh, team is a manager is employee manager name is null so that time you will get that many number of rows so that is nothing but a self join now let me go for a cartesian join so cartesian join is nothing but a so there is a scenario you may not get uh, that scenario in the real time but yes so there is a scenario customer table customer table and there is a scenario, you need to join with the employee table okay so that time so you you need to apply uh, cartesian join or cross join how many number of rows you will get it so table one uh, number of rows in the cartesian join equal to this is a formula equal to so number of rows in table 1 table 
into one into number of rows in rows in table two. So let us assume it. So the number of rows in the table one is uh, five. Number of rows in uh, table two is six. Then you will get thirty thirty rows as a result. So this is nothing but a partition join. So these are all the list of uh, joins we have in the SQL Server. So we talked about all these uh, joins theoretically. Okay. So that's it. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel.